good evening. It's a new year, so good evening and happy new year. All right. I apologize for the delay. We were trying to um, figure out where our interpreters were, and um, a lot of cases got postponed today and um, complied with, so we started a little later than usual. As you know, this is a code enforcement hearing for the city of North Miami. Today is January 4th, 2017. I kept saying 2016 all day, so 2017. And I am Beatrice Kezzo, Special Magistrate for the city of North Miami. The purpose of this hearing is to determine if a code violation exists at your property as observed and cited by a code enforcement officer of this city. If the city is not able to prove its case, then I will dismiss the case and you may leave. These proceedings are being recorded. Therefore, all persons who are speaking should do so one at a time to ensure that all testimony is clearly audible on the recording device. If English is not your primary language, then please inform me when I call your case. We have a, well, we don't have a translator, so I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> when your case is called, the property owner agent for the property owner and any witness that you may have should come forward to the podium on the left side of the room. When asked, please speak, di speak directly into the microphone and say aloud your name, your business or mailing address, and your relationship to the property. If you are not the property owner or an attorney representing the property owner, then you must present a notarized power of attorney affidavit in order for your testimony to be taken on behalf of the property owner. For new cases, you will be asked for the record if you are aware of and understand the violation that is being heard today. And do you understand what is required to resolve the violation? Please answer accordingly. The city will present its case first and then the property owner and or violator will be given an opportunity to testify on their own behalf, to bring forward witnesses to testify, to present evidence and photographs, and to cross-examine the city's witnesses. Following the case presentation, I will issue a finding of fact on the case. If I find that a violation of city codes exists or existed at your property, then depending on the case type, I will set an abatement date for the violation to be resolved, or for repeat violations, I will impose a daily fine amount. For new, non-repeat cases, my order will include an abatement date by which you must resolve the violation in a daily fine amount that I may impose at a future hearing date should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. If I find su sufficient cause to postpone enforcement action at this time, I will table this case proceeding to another hearing date in the future. If you do not agree with my finding or fact and or ruling, then the property owner may appeal the administrative order on the case to the circuit court. An appeal must be filed within 30 days of the date of the execution of the administrative order to be appealed. In accordance with Florida statutes, if a person decides to repeal any decision made by the special magistrate with respect to any matter considered at these proceedings, then the person will need a verbatim record of the proceeding. This record includes the testimony and evidence upon which the appeal is to be based. The cost of obtaining the verbatim record shall be the sole responsibility of the appellant. And it is recommended that persons who plan to appeal their case should provide their own court reporter at this proceedings. <clears throat> Pursuant to city codes, if the city of North Miami prevails in prosecuting a case before the special magistrate, the city shall be entitled to recover all costs incurred in prosecuting the case. The current cost assessment amount is $100 per case. Once the city records an order that imposes a fine and authorizes a lien against the property, then the city will charge additional administrative fees to record and release the lien. Now, 
everyone present who will be giving testimony on a case, please rise and raise your right hand so the officer can administer the oath. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please announce for the record if there are any additions, corrections, and or deletions to the hearing agenda, please. The deletions are item number one, CEIVY 2016-00275, Andrea Costeras complied. Item number two, CEPFY 2016-00766, Augusta Laguerre complied. Item number three, CEPFY 2016-00817, Ataya I'm Smith complied. Item number four, CEZPU 2016-00055, Algera um, Hassan complied. Item number five, CEEXP 2016-00401, Alan Scott Hoffman complied. Item number six, CEPFY 2016-00726, Allison Malden complied. Item number seven, CEOSV 2016-00051, Anna Fung complied. Item number eight, CEFLR 2016-00001, Andrea Fermit postponed. Item number nine, CEZCU 2016-00002, Andrea Fermit postponed. Item number 10, CEMIS 2016-00032, Andrea C. Link postponed. Item number 12, CEPFY 2016-00739, August Genty complied. <coughs> Item number 18, CEPFY 2016-00780, Brenda Dempsey complied. Item number 19, CENUS 2016-00140, Carlos G. Rodriguez complied. Item number 21, CEPFY 2016-00698, Cheryl Kinsell complied. Item number 23, CEODS 2016-00159, Selbert Morales complied. Item number 24, CEPFY 2016-00694, Selbert Morales complied. Item number 25, CEOSD 2016-00025, Selbert Morales complied. Item number 26, CEZPU 2016-00047, Selbert Morales complied. Item number 28, CEPFY 2016-00748, Daniel Dow, WNW Emma complied. Item number 29, CEPFY 2016-00712, Daniel M. Dow complied. Item number 30, CEIVY 2016-00315, Daniel R. Suli complied. Item number 31, CERCV 2016-00069, Daphne Fun complied. Item number 34, CEJNK 2016-00175, Eli R. Fisher complied. Item number 36, CEIVY 2016-00282, Elu Torres complied. Item number 37, CELSC 2016-00022, Eli Torres complied. Item number 38, CEODS 2016-00170, Elizabeth Mary Davis complied. Item number 40, CEDPR 2016-00105, Emmanuel Morel complied. Item number 41, CEPFY 2016-00721, Eric Mitchell complied. 
Item number 42, CENUS 2016-00135, S of Marie J. Paul complied. Item number 43, CEZPU 2016-00040, S of Marie J. Paul complied. Item number 44, CEPFY 2016-00730, Eugene J. Cadet complied. Item number 45, CEFAW 2016-00230, Three six, Fernanda, Paul complied. At item number forty six, CEPFY two zero one six zero zero seven zero, Francis Pierre complied. Item number forty seven, CEPFY two zero one six zero zero seven one nine, Front Daniel complied. Item number forty eight, CERCV two zero one six zero zero eight four, Front Simbert complied. Item number forty nine, CEEXP two zero one six zero zero. 451, Frederick LeBert complied. Item number 50, CEWWC 2016-00012, Gary and Marie Antoine complied. Item number 52, CEBPR 2016-00108, Georgina Espiona complied. Item number 53, CEIVY 2016-00283, Hector Martinez complied. Item number 54, CEMIS 2016-00035, Hector Martinez complied. Item number 55, CEODS 2016-00178, Hector Martinez complied. Item number 57, well, sorry. Item number 6, CEZPU 2016-00045, Jean Jules complied. Item number 61, CE. CEFAW 2016-00235, Jean R. Celestine complied. Item number 62, CEPFY 2016-00753, Jaquan Torres complied. Item number 63, CEFAW 2016-00220, Joanne Gonzalez complied. Item number 64, C CEODS 2016-00176, Joanne Gonzalez complied. Item number 66, CEBPR 2016-00089, Joan Setti Case and W. Cynthia complied. Item number 68, CEPFY 2016-00757, Jose C. and Sarah Montero complied. Item number 70, CEPFY 2016-00738, Jose E. Bunka and W. Rosa M. complied. Item number 71, CEPFY 2016-00658, Jose Granados complied. Item number 72, CEPFY 2016-00831, Josefina Polanco complied. Item number 73, CEZPU 2016-00039, Julio C. Torres complied. Item number 75, CEPFY 2016-00692, Kelly Roark complied. Item number 77, CEPFY 2016-00778, Lazaro Grails complied. Item number 78, CEBPR 2016-00110, Lord Ludis Martinez complied. Item number 79, CEBUS -E 2016-00009, Mark C. Yenis complied. Item number 80, CEEXP 2016-00467, Mark Lavalos complied. Item number 81, CEODS 2016-00160, Maria Angelica complied. Item number 82, CEEXP 2016-00466, Maria E. Quant complied. Item number 83, CEEXP 2016-00238, Maria Ferrero complied. Item number 84, CEPFY 2016-00747, Maria J. Perez complied. Item number 86, CELSC 2016-00023, Maria A. Gisellin Woods, postponed. Item number 87, CEZPU 2016-00033,
Maria A. Giselin Woods complied, or oh, postponed. Item number 88, CEZPU 2016-00024, Maria Carol Pierre, postponed one month. Item number 89, CEBPR 2016-00134, Martha Perrazzo, complied. Item number 90, CEZPU 2016-00050, Martha Perrazzo, complied. Item number 92, CEBPR 2016-00131, Mar 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 Alfonso, complied. Item number 93, CEPAR 2016-00009, Morayo Alfonso, comp complied. Item number 94, CEPFY 2016-00722, Moncito Toussaint, complied. Item number 95, CEPFR 2016-001713, Montoga, complied. Item number 96, CE CEGMP 2016-00022, Morelli, complied. Item number 97, CEPOM 2016-00028, Nadine Tennis, complied. Item number 98, CEPFY 2016-000699, Neston Fernandez, complied. Item number 99, CEODS 2016-00173, Normal Marina Calderon, complied. Item number 100, CENUS 2016-00133, Odile's Pierre, complied. Item number 101, CEPFY 2016-00711. Odile Jean Baptiste, complied. Item number 103, CODS 2016-00158. Olga C Cardenas, complied. Item number 105, CEIVY 2016-00274. Orlando Hernandez, Complied. Item number 106, CEPFY 2016-00777, Raul Dorsey. Complied. Item number 107, CEWWC 2016-00017, Raymond Hernandez. Postponed. Item number 108, CEPOM 2016-00031, Richard A. Basola. Complied. Item number 109, CEPFY 2016-00077. 708, Robert Mohama, complied. Item number 110, CEPFY 2016-00740, Rosaline D. Petty Home, postponed. Item number 111, MHVIO 2016-00386, Rosenthal Enterprise, complied. Item number 112, MHVIO 2016-00387, Rosenthal Enterprise postponed to February. Item number 114, CESTR 2016-00003, Summers e. L. Fishy, complied. Item number 118, CEPFY 2016-00785, Sarah Goski, complied. Item number 119, CEOSV 2016-00045, Sarah Tamer, complied. Item number 120, CEPFY 2016-00432, Cheryl Harvey, complied. Item number 122, CEPFY 2016-00714, Tro Troy R. Gilbert, complied. Item number 123, CEPFY 2016-00333, Valentine, Valenta, Don Joy, complied. Item, item number 124, CERCV 2016, Valentine Oliver, complied. Item number 125, CEMIS 2016-00033, Victor Santillana, complied. Item number 126, CEJNK 2016-00153, Victor Torres, complied. 
Item number 127, CEPF 52016-0695, Westy Charles, complied. Item number 128, CEPF 52016-00745, Eve, Antoine, and Marie Luce, complied, and not complete all the deletions. Great. <coughs> Can we call our first case? Our first case is item number 11, Antoine Luador, and the officer is Ernst Baptiste, case number CELDR 2015-00015. Good evening, please state your full name in relationship to the property. Good evening, Judge, my name is Angela Fernandez. I'm here on behalf of the Law Office of Code of County, and I'm also representing my client here, Mr. Luador, Antoine Luador. Betty. Um, the property that we're representing is the 301 Northeast 125th Street property. Is that church in question? Yes. Um, Your Honor, last time we convened, um, the, uh, you wanted to know what the progress was and so that our client would be in full compliance, um, which we have proved today that our client has a final permit to build the parking lot, and we also have um, proof of pictures so that I may approach the court today. Okay, you can show it to the officer. I, I didn't have it. I want to give the officer an opportunity to um, present his case first. Officer Jim Baptiste. Ernst Baptiste, City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case for um, land development regulation that was heard before, and you gave him time to comply. And. Um, I inspected the property today. I mean, yeah, I see some movement. The gravel was removed, but still, I don't see any equipment. It's dirt, and the parking is not hasn't started yet. Okay, um, council indicated that she has. Um, they've obtained the permit, and she wanted to show us some photographs. Yes. Um, so. I mean that that we know the permit was obtained month ago, and it was because of that you told them that you need to see proof that they are moving forward with the parking lot. We know they had the permit. We know, but it's every or a month um, we 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 are still standing. Okay. Waiting. So the last time we were here was. In was that October? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so we were here in October, and back in October, he the, he, he had already obtained the yes, permit. Yes. Yes. The reason for the okay. delay, I'm yeah. sorry if I may. Sure. The reason for the delay is because we're waiting for the plumbing to be completed. There had to be like a drainage system to be put in place before they can start laying the cement to start the parking lot. That has been completed. The project is taking a little longer than expected. So we do have, like I said, the photographs that show the progress because the drainage has already been put into the subterranean area where the parking lot is going to be built. All right, show the photographs to the officer and um, show it to the city attorney, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Go ahead. Mm So what I'm seeing is the gravel that has been removed. Yes. Okay. All right, ma'am. What's the next step? What's going on? We would respectfully ask the court if they would, if you would allow us four to six months to be in full compliance. It's not going to be four to six months. We like to keep track on the progress. 
uh-huh. and you know what's going on on cases, especially in this um, situation where there seems to be a one delay after another. So it's not going to be four to six months. Well, yes, officer. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's it's a church, so right. are, th- are they gonna be closed? Because where are they gonna park when people come? Right. So, um. What will you give us? I'm sorry, Your Honor. What will you give us 120 days to report back to you with additional information or progress as to the property? But this matter has already been adjudicated. Um, how does the city attorney feel about 120 days? I'll defer to the officer to see how I- if that's an appropriate time period for the, the construction work. I mean, it's, it's the permit is there. Um, 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 work has started. I want to see movement month by month. I don't because if we tell them 120 days, that I don't want them to come before the hearing date and start something. I want to see. I want to give them 30 days increment where we can see that they're moving forward with that construction. All right, because of the history of this case and because there's been um, several delays, I'm going to agree with the officer. We're going to schedule it month to month and see the progress of the case. So um, I want to see what happened um, the next time we come here, which will be February 1st. And if I see that the case is moving, um, is progressing, then at that point I'll probably consider um, 60 days. But for now, I want to see more progress because the officer has reminded me that um, he's had the permit since October. And here we are in January, and the only thing that's happened is that the gravel has been removed. So let's reset it for next month and see how far we've gotten and then we'll go from there. February 1st? February 1st. First. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you thank you, Counselor. Take your photographs back. Okay. Yes, sir. Item number 20, Carol, Carolyn L. Wallace, Officer Villain Christie, case number CEBPR 2016-00097. What's the name? What's the number? 20. By the way, I'm missing um, page 13. And you said 20? Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> Good afternoon, sir. Please state your full name for the record. Caesar Antonio Wallace. I'm sorry? Caesar Antonio Wallace. Okay. Yes. Vito and Christie, Code Compliance, City of North Miami. This is a new case in regards to the installation of a uh, exterior fence around the property. Um, as of the permit records today, I see no application for the fence, and I do have pictures for the record. Mr. Wallace? Yes. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, I was, two things. I paid someone. I thought they were doing all of that for me. Why am I having a hard time hearing folks today? Is this thing on? Right now. (laughs) Okay. Any better? Not really, but go ahead. (laughs) like a, a radio mic. I got to get all the way on it. Um, I, I paid someone to, to do all of this, and I thought that he had was pulling the permits and all of this, 
he's since disappeared on me. And mm. um, because he started out good, he was showing me everything, and he started the construction, and then he just disappeared. He never even finished. Mm -hmm. So I was, was coming to see if we can work it out where I can try to pull it either myself uh, or does it have to come through a fence contractor to finish it off because I so would like the work is not completed so it's oh, the halfway work is done com no the work is completed I know. If you the work at, is complete if you look at that picture you'll see no no side gate and oh. it, there's a gate on the front what the guy did he started the uh, the side panels and then he did some on the rear of the, the property but he didn't put uh, is it the same property? Because I see green and I they see... They have yeah, some change of painting on the yeah, house. We, we I see. It. Okay. That's just to show you the progress. The green pictures are actually the house before. Yeah, it was green before. This was the... Okay. That's the old house. Ho and the pictures of the actual fence, it, when you just see the poles going up, that's when I notified the, f the property owner that they needed to pull a permit for the fence. Okay. Because I saw the installation because they had a chain link fence before. Yeah. There you go. Okay. After. And you you I noticed the owner, you said? Yes. At okay. that point, and at that, after no contact, I gave them a civil ticket. Okay. And I still didn't get any contact. So uh, we postponed this particular case probably about two months or so. Mm -hmm. And now we're here, and this is the first time I've seen anyone from the property or heard any from anyone from the property. Mr. Wallace. I was hospitalized, so I wasn't able to do anything. Um, I had surgery back in uh, October. I've been out of work since August, so I had surgery in October, and I'm not scheduled to go back to work till February or March of this year. So I just wanted to try to get this closed out. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. If I can pull a permit myself as the property owner or or does it have to come through a fencing contract? I, I like to have this done hopefully in the next 30, 45 days or so. I mean, so now you're going to have to pull a permit basically yeah. after the fact. Yeah, yes. after the fact. You can use the gentleman that pulled your window permit. Uh, that's through Home Depot. I don't know uh, if they'll, they'll do it. They should be able to because I don't know if they would allow you to pull a uh, permit from they're the probably house. not going to let that ride so we have to find a new person <laughs> all right sir so um i'll enter an adjudication um i do find that the violation does exist um i'll give you an opportunity to pull the permit and basically bring this up to um up to par um hopefully it was put in correctly and it's legal otherwise you'd have to take it down um, they, they can if it doesn't meet, I'm sorry. But I mean, they're, 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 they're always free to come out and check it. I, I believe it's done correctly because it, it was buried fairly deep. Okay. Well, that's going to be part of that's the. That's going to be the. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Inspectors. Uh, right. The, wow. the inspector will come out and see whether or not it was done. It looks good, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, that you know it is good. Um, that it is. So they're going to come out, but you need to apply for a permit and do it again I'll enter an adjudication and um, what, what time I'll is? give you I'll give you 60 days I'll give you to March 1st March I'm sorry February 28th does that work for you um, officer yes. Yes, okay thereafter if you're not in compliance I need to know what you know what progress has been made what's going on otherwise you start incurring a one hundred dollar daily fine. Okay, now that's that's not totally sixty days. It's slightly under. Okay, well then that means you you need to work fast. Well Be here tomorrow sure. pulling a permit. <laughs> need to make sure the, the 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 inspector is doing his part too by showing up on time. That's not. He's not just gonna show up. You 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 have to do your part, and then they're gonna do their part. And if they're the ones, you know. Um, causing the delay, then you can tell me when you come back. No. But for now, you know what time frame you're working with. So. So the 28th. February 28th. You got it. All right, sir. Thank you, and have a good evening. <coughs> Item number 51. Gail Dolly. 
Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEE XP 2016-00452. Was that 51? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is anyone here? What's the address? Yes. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Please state your full name in relationship to the property. Louis Davila, I'm the homeowner. I'm sorry? Louis Davila, the homeowner. We're talking about 51? Mm-hmm. Who's Gail Doyle? I have no idea. We're on 51, right? Mm -hmm. That's the 672? 672 Northeast 144th Street. Okay. Can we double check? If we have the right information. Can we table it? Hmm? Can we table it? No, let's just find out. When did you acquire this property, sir? In March. In March? Yeah. Should have been should have been updated already, no? Yeah. What's what's your name, sir? Louis Davila. Yeah, that's the name on the on the property page. That's why we need to table it. Huh? That's the name on the property appraiser page. His name? Yes. Okay, so on here I have a Gail Doyle. Yes. Okay. So that's why I wanted to table You want to table it? Yes. All right. Okay. All right, sir. So I can serve him with proper notice on under his name. Okay. All right, sir. We're going to table it for, what, 30 days? Okay. Item number 102, Ofani Delamay, Officer Ernst Baptiste, CEO SV 2016-00053. Hmm? That's what the officer said. I guess it wasn't explained to them. That's your name. I mean, <laughs> it's your case, Mr. Baptiste. The translator? Correct. What number is it? What number is it? You need to sign in. Sign in. Yeah. No, you can copy it. What's the case? What's the case number that we're in? Okay, can we put it on the record, um, Mr. Baptiste? Okay. I'm Baptiste, City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. That is a case that was open for an oversized vehicle park at 490 Northeast 137. And uh, we are tabling it for one month. For one month. Yes. For February 1st. And just for the record, and that is because we do not have a Creole translator. Yes. Um, or a Creole interpreter present. Court, can I please have the case number, the page, please? This case that we just postponed. Um, 102. 102. Thank you. The first one. Then. Next case, item number 104, Olga Jean Viename, Officer Vidalin Christie, case number CEBPR 2016-000026. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please state your full name for the record in relationship to the property. Um, Christopher Pierre. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Rita Lynn Christie, Code Compliance, City of North Miami. This is a new case in regards to installation of uh, electrical supplies, water heater, and uh, this is a rental. Mm -hmm. So we felt that it was not safe, and I do have pictures for the record. Okay. These items were installed like really high and the people that actually rented or lived there were the people complaining. They were the ones complaining about this yes. makeshift. Yes. Um, yes. Or and they invited us out because they stated that they did not feel safe at the location. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. There's a case going on for the assessment of a case for um, elderly abuse. The person took her, moved into, uh, moved her to Orlando, removed her from the nursing home, and rented the house. So for the year and a half, we had no idea what was going on in that household. Sure, you can give give her give her my. You're asking if she wants to speak at well, all. She can speak as well. Okay. She just moved back to the house. Mm hmm and there are, there are new owners, there are new people living in the house. So when all that was happening, she was not involved. She was in a nursing home, that can be proven. We have paperwork from the nursing home. There's police reports of the person that was taking care of her. So we have no idea what that is. Are you guys next of kin to her? What, what is? I'm her niece. You're her niece, okay. Oh. Wow. Does she want to say anything, ma'am? Do you want to add something? I was I was in the nursing home. But that said that I moved to go to Orlando. But to Orlando I want to come back to my house. All right. Go ahead, Ms. Randall. Okay, I'm... I didn't know if you still have something to do to come in to ask them. Tell me to please help me the water bill. Will somebody help me to fill the water because my house is a problem. Okay. Okay. What yes. I, if I could just repeat what I just heard. Go ahead. That she stated that she asked someone to fix the water for her. Okay, there's two no, problems. that's not what she's saying. Yeah, there's two okay. problems. Actually, okay. we thought we came here because the city of Miami called us and said there was a leak in the house. Okay. So this, Miami. Is, this is this is why we thought we came here because okay. we had it fixed. The inspector came out to fix it, so we were kind of surprised that we got this paperwork. We had no idea mm -hmm. that. It had anything to do with this is North Miami. Though. North Miami, I'm sorry. North okay. Miami. Okay. Are you guys back? And is she back? Did she she's move back in the house? She's back. An inspector came in, checked the water, everything. But this, mm -hmm. I have no idea. What that or is this still going on? When were when were these pictures taken? I don't have a date. They when were, were these pictures taken? They were actually taken back in 
about uh, March. She was here. Okay. Okay. All right. So are these people still living on the property? Well, they're saying no. they're no longer there. However, mm -hmm. regardless of uh, whether the tenants are there or the owner is there, they mm -hmm. still have to resolve this issue. Okay. I'm going to get to this. Um, because they just said that an, an inspector already went to um, the house and inspect the, the, the property. The now, you guys saw the pictures. You guys saw the photographs of what the officer produced. Mm -hmm. Is this does this situation still exist? I don't think they went back to the Um Because I know in March she was not at the house. Uh, we understand she wasn't at the yeah, house because I was made aware that she went to Orlando and she, someone was taking care of her. We had all of that from the tenants that was at the property. Um, who decided to, they didn't put the water heater there. That's why they called us because it was not installed properly. And it's an electrical water heater, mm -hmm. which obviously raises their, whatever bills they have to take care of. And they felt unsafe because of how it was installed. There were a lot of wires based yes. on what I'm seeing. There just are a lot of just. Rented the house, collecting rent, is yes. that what we're saying? And then eventually kicked her out, and so that's why she was back in Miami. I understand she is the owner, but she had no clue what was going on in the house. So you have a case, she has a case pending currently in... in yeah, there's an investigation going on in Orlando. Yes. Okay. I can give you her name, I, I mean, the information I have for her, but... Yes, I'm still at the point where I understand that she's older. I understand, but now she is at the location with the water heater that's not installed. Properly. All right, here's what I'm going to do because there's a lot of um, background information. Uh, I'm not going to adjudicate this case. I'm going to table it, and I'm going to give all the parties 30 days since the last time you inspect the property was back in March. Um, and we have um, testimony that the property owner was in Orlando and there's a um, case pending and an investigation ongoing and what have you. Now she's back on the property, so I'm sure she will not have any issues giving us access to go in and see whether or not this condition still exists. So um, I'll table it for 30 days, and then we can come back and address this issue. Yes, sir. Um, so the water heater and so on, all those wires and so on, those need to be done properly. No, you need to get a permit to install so that someone from the city can inspect the work. Okay, so they'd have to pay some yes. Correct. for it to be correct. Yes. yes. Yes, and it may be a um, fire hazard, is it? Most definitely. It could possibly be a fire hazard, and she, if she's an elderly, and God forbid, you know, we want to make sure that um, everything is done and is done correctly because we're talking about electrical. Um, we're talking that's about... That's the, um, that's the, 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 the water heater. That's the set of lights and the wires and everything. And that's what's before me today. I don't know what else is pending. Yeah, the wires are set up. The water heater. I, I know it. All right, so... Pull a permit, get the job done correctly. Um, but I'll see you guys back here on um, February 1st. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Hmm? Five, six. Five, six. Mm -hmm. We called it? Oh, I thought you guys let him go. I mean, I don't like having people sit around if we're not going to be hearing their case. Who did? I'm 
trying to understand why this gentleman is still here. This gentleman needs a translator, and we have no Spanish translator. I thought, I'm sorry? What happened? Why is this gentleman still here? We don't have a translator. I'm sorry, we don't have an interpreter. I mean, I'll note it the record, but he's um, he, he let him go. I don't want him sitting here, you know, knowing that his case is not going to be heard. Hector Martinez need a tra uh, an interpreter as well. Okay, so we have to let him know that his case is going to be postponed. What happened? Okay, Dunia, when you're done, this gentleman as well. Huh? Does he speak English? Okay, so. All right, sir, if you want, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to your case. If you're waiving your right to have a, an interpreter present, because I want to do it the right way, I want to make sure that you understand um, the violation against you. All right, okay. item number 56, Hector I. Martinez, case number CEPFY 2016-00414, Officer Santa Centers. Right. Am I presenting the case as normal, or does he have just has questions? Let me make which which one are we doing? Okay, um, maybe I should hear kind of the questions first. Okay, Mr. Martinez. Uh, it's okay. uh, now I understand the violation. You understand the violation? I, I, I speak my Italian is parking correct. Okay, okay, so you know that it's, it has to do with parking, and then you're going to tell them to park correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you have a little time to do that because I'm going to, the um, officer's going to ask me to table it because I want to make sure that we have a translator to assist you, okay? So I'm not going to rule on the case today. I don't think it's fair to you. Um, so I'm going to give you time. So make sure if the officer drives around, okay. she doesn't see that you guys are parking illegally, okay? I know, I know. All right? I know. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Okay. Item number 115 and 116, Sandra Simons, Officer Ernst Baptiste. Item number 115, case number CELDR 2016-0006. Item number 116, CEZPU 2016-0016. Good evening, sir. How are you this evening, ma'am? Very well. Please state your name in relationship to the property. My name is Randy Keaton. I'm power of attorney for the property. Okay. And um, did you, you provide a copy? You, Do we have, have a copy on, on file? Okay, we have we have a copy. I've been here before. He looks I mean familiar. The case, the case was heard before. Huh? With him. It was heard before. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I see the that we have an adjudication. We had, you were, I said we were correcting the issues that we have. It was right before Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me allow the officer to present his case, and then. Um, and then I'll give you an opportunity to respond. Ernst Baptist City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. Um, this is a case, as I said, that was heard before, and time was given for permit to be pulled to correct the violation. Okay. In doing the permit, we first had to get an engineer, which we paid for the engineer. Engineer engineer free. Then we had to get a contract. The contract we finally got bid over to us. Sir, speak into the microphone. We finally got a contractor to get a bid over to us the 21st to do the repairs necessary to bring it back to the engineer's description. He has been paid his de deposit, and we are waiting him to pull the permits. We had a little mix-up with the driveway. The first person we hired said that we didn't need a permit for it. We called around. We did need a permit to put a driveway in there. So we've hired somebody else. They're supposed to be coming out next week to give us a price on it. With the holidays and stuff, I've had to run people down. The, the engineer took him almost four weeks to get everything even to where he was at the property. All right. 
Yes, sir. What are you requesting? <clears throat> what are you asking? I'm asking to have time to finish what we we've obviously have to do. I don't have the, the job completed that I needed to complete for you. I mean, I'm asking for time to finish it. As you can tell, I've worked on it. I've worked on it for about a month and a half now, two months, and I've it's like very slow because I had Thanksgiving and Christmas, and these people don't want to work. I know, but the contract says December 21st, so you just entered this contract with, was it a CAB cab? Okay, the engineer, if you look at the engineer's document, which is the JV, I did not get the engineer's document, mm -hmm. which ne was needed by the contractor in order to do the work. Okay. And the engineer was the hardest person to get out there. It was like, you know, I figured I could call an engineer, they'd come out and they'd give me what it is. They give me, a, the first one wanted to give me an appointment in, in January. I finally found one that would do it in December. Okay. I mean, it's not like we're avoiding the issues. We, we plan on doing the repairs to the property. We have the property vacated, so no one's living in the property. It's it's sitting there because we it's not in the condition you guys are requiring it to be in. All right, so are we addressing the... Um we're addressing the driveway as well as the um, conversion? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I mean, I'm willing to work with... Um, well, like I said, I can show you the documents. I, I, I can show you the receipts um, from the contractor. It's just... He's, he's, he's made effort because he called me and explaining the step he's taking. So I'll give him a month to see... What progress, progress has been made? Because okay. I checked, no permit was pulled. I well, need to see that. Understood. The, the check was sent to that guy on the 22nd, so he's got his check right after Christmas. Okay. So let's let's come back in a month and see what progress has been made. If we see great progress, then we'll consider extending, you know, I, I appreciate um, um, the extension. But for now, let's bring it back in February and see where we are. I appreciate that, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Who's talking with the U is the heat of mine. And I hope they addressed everything on the inside and we want to complete it. I'm sorry. That's it? Oh, okay. All right. So everyone else that we have left or no shows? Yeah, no shows. Okay. And begin. Item number 13, Augustin Fleur, Chris, Officer Crystal Cordo, CEEXP -E 2016-00469. What number? Item number 13. 13, I need that page. I'm missing that. Uh, No one has item number 13 because I don't have it. Huh? You don't? What? Do you have it? Huh? It's complied? Okay. Cause not page 13. You said item number 13, right? Okay. I don't have it. I don't have it here. I don't have a page 13. Okay, let's present the case. I don't have a. The case is complied. Item number 13 is complied? Yes. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> 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 okay. All right, item number 14. Betty Wirtz, Officer Shanna Sanders. That customer also has item number 15, 16. Case number CEDSP 2016-0016. CEEXP 2016 00437 and CENUS 2016 00143. 
Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer. This is a new case for a depreciation of surrounding properties. Um, I think the pictures will speak for um, them, speaks for itself. This case was originally opened August 29th, um, sent the notice of violation. Um, we inspected October 4th, went back again November 7th. Um, it was scheduled for the December hearing, but um, due to it being canceled, um, everything was um, tabled to the December hearing. As of the date, the property still remains in the same condition. I am showing proper service was given. Um, the property was posted on December 20th. Um, certified mailing was mailed out on the 22nd of December. Um, I am going to send up pictures for you to see, but I also want to, you know, put on record that we have had contact with the property owner. Well, let me pass it up and then I can be speaking. We, uh, I've had contact with um, who may be the property owner's daughter. Um, she has um, taken ill about two years ago when her daughter took her up to Tallahassee to care for her. She was under the impression that the house was foreclosed on. She thought her mother no longer owned it. Um, they've been speaking with myself and Commander Seed off and on for the better part of um, two months. But she's you know, clearly stating she doesn't own the property, but I emailed um, Jennifer Warren as well to confirm if any foreclosure was um, recorded. Um, she's stating that it isn't. So, you know, I'll let you in or our assistant city attorney decide how we want to proceed with that. But whom we have cited as the property owner is stating she's not. The owner. The owner and the owner's daughter is stating that, you know, for some reason they believe that they are no longer the property owners and it's been foreclosed on about two years ago. But the property is still showing as um, a Miss Betty um, Wirtz. Your Honor, according to the Miami-Dade County property appraiser, as well as the official records of Miami-Dade County, ownership still remains in the name of Betty Wirtz. Um, acting on the tip from Commander Sid and Shanna San Officer Shanna Sanders, I did perform a search of the civil records of Miami-Dade County to see if there was any pending or closed foreclosure cases in the name of Betty Wirtz. Um, involving this property address, and I was unable to to find anything to that effect. 